crochet style. That one also, uh, as you can see, is a crochet. Yes. I think it crochet. With one needle, right? Yes. Okay. On our head, you can see these ornaments that are called in Spanish tembleques. Some similar one in English is trembling because it moves as we move our head or dance. And these represent flowers, birds, or animals of our country. So it can be done uh, representing different kinds of flowers, but also little birds or butterflies, for example. Also, it can be um, insects like scorpions. It depends uh, on what the, the bird wants to wear, OK? But totally handmade also. Which, uh, is on our head one by one. It's not a whole piece. It's one by one. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh. This one <laughs> is another technique in which you can see that instead of the embroidery, it has a colored cloth that makes the design, but also has an embroidered and pull thread. Oh, this one has three techniques. Okay. And this one also is a cross stitch, like this one. Okay. We're wearing also different type of jewels, but in our head you can see this big comb here that maybe is a remembrance of the Spanish civilian comb because of our Spanish heritage. But we have also smaller combs in both sides of our head, and different type of chains. Uh, most of them become from our Catholic heritage. We have, for example, rosaries. Uh, we have scapularies. Let me take over. And there is scapularies. And also, this one that uh, represents, you know, the shores when they go for the ancients like this. Oh, yes. This one means that action. Everyone and represents that action, okay? But one of the most important ones is this one, that is called the plain chain, cadena chaca in Spanish, and this one represents the feature scale, okay? We're wearing also this one with the different coins because people at the past time collect all those different coins and make it together in this chain just for decoration. But there is also another particular one, uh, this one, that represents the watermelon seed because, because each, each piece of gold looks like the watermelon seed, okay? But at the end, it has two fishes. One of them with a very thin ending that was used for cleaning the nail. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one with a rounded ending that was used, can you imagine, for scratching. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this head has a lot of details. Okay? Also in our head, you can see this one here, this piece here, that maybe represents the knife that was used by the gypsy girls at the Pakistan. Because it can be used for defending ourselves. Because at the end, it is very thin, very sharp, and it can hurt. Would you like to touch? Would you like to touch? Okay? But it's hide here in our head. Look at that. We're wearing also earrings, long earrings, and on our shoes, you can see this type of gold buckles, just for decoration also. We can wear bracelets and pearls on the jewels because here in Panama and at past time there was a lot of pearls on our Panamanian oceans. 
here was found one of the biggest pearls in the world that is known as the Peregrina. That is the pearl that Richard Barton sent to Elizabeth Taylor as a wedding gift. And it was found here on the Panamanian Ocean. It is now at the London Museum. So that's why we can wear pearls on the jewels also. Okay? So this dress has a lot of details. As you can see, a lot of work that can be done just with love. <laughs> but nobody's going to sew all those things by hand if you don't love it. So it takes about one year for making one of these. And for now, it is all from the $5,000, just the blouse and the skirt, because of the handwork. That's why. Also, this dress, these dresses are unique. It cannot be repeated. The designs are made especially for each one of us, and it cannot be repeated from one to the other. So we also paid for the design and later on for the making, and it has to be unique. So uh, we can make different combinations, different types of flowers, but it is not repeated. So that's why it is very representative for us. <coughs> uh, let's see our men, because they are going off for very interesting things. <laughs> they are wearing this very elegant white shirt that is called Camisilla Garibaldina. In the name of a coronet called Garibaldi, who introduced this type of shirt. But they are wearing also those black and white shoes and the authentic Panamanian hat that is called the painted hat, or sombrero pintado in Spanish. And the name is not because it is Spain. It is totally handmade and naturally colored, but it is done in a place called La Pintada, or the Painted Town. And that's why the name, the Painted Town and then the Painted Hat. But uh, the people in that town is dedicated on making of this hat. And that's why it is very representative for our country also, because everybody there works on the making of this hat. Some totally white, one make a black and white, but they are dedicated on that. But there were also these uh, black and white birds, but it is just for keeping some gift for the tail for the ladies, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so to all of you, our national dress, thank you very much for being here tonight. Thank you. Next performance is an atravesado, but with uh, two couples. And then right after that, we will have a cumbia. Enjoy.
good.